Hi, COP family. I'm Brother Enchid. Welcome to Fit for Service. This program is designed to help you achieve your fitness goals as you learn how to joyfully and skillfully worship God through dance. Jeremiah 31 13 says, The young women will dance for joy, and the men, old and young, will join in the celebration. Guess what? It does not stop there. The verse continues. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and exchange their sorrow for rejoicing. Sorrow and mourning, gone. Joy and rejoicing, bring them on. Let's begin. Fit for service.
1 Timothy 4 verse 8 in the NLT says, Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better, promising benefits in this life and in the life to come. You've been working hard all week. You are serious about your fitness. But part of a good fitness routine is recovery. You need one or two days for that. But be sure to still do some stretching on your recovery days. And keep yourself hydrated. You're all set, COP. I am Sister Mikey. God bless! Fit for service. Hi, COP! I am Brother Josh. Welcome to Square One, the segment where we learn basic dance terms and definitions. All week, we have been learning about choreography. We said that choreography has three parts. The first stage is improvisation, creating movements spontaneously but with purpose. The second stage is composition, arranging and rearranging dance phrases. The third and final stage is completion. This is where choreographers add details such as costume, props, and sets to give dance one final touch. More of Square One next week. God bless! Fit for service. Hi again, COP. Welcome back to If You Can Walk, You Can Dance. The segment where we learn that because dance is praise and that praise needs to be participative, then dance needs to be participative as well. Well, let's take a look at the dance to learn for the day. You again dancers now let's try the first movement sequence so we go one two three four okay so we're actually singing no other name so five six seven eight one two three four so look the other way okay and then we connect five six seven eight so we move to the right lifting our arms up and then move to the left doing the same thing okay so five six seven and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it with a demo. And the third eight just keeps the first four counts of the first two eights. So it goes like this. One two, three, four, but then this time we will do this, five, six, seven, eight. So again, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's connect all those three movement sequences. We go five, six, no other name. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try it with the demo. All 
right, let's pick up where we left off. So five, six, seven, eight, wave two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so again, five, six, seven, eight, wave two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connecting the third and the fourth eight, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now connecting all of the first four movement sequences, the result would be this, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time with music. Now for the fifth eight, it's uh, similar to the first two eights, except we're changing the this part into this. Okay, so we go five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, right? And then six left, and then stay seven, eight, all right? So five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? And then you go one, two, three, four, we jump to the right, five, to the left, six, right again, seven, left again, eight, okay? So let's connect those two. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, jump, six, seven, eight, all right? And then the uh, seventh eight is similar to the third eight. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the eighth eight is similar to the fourth. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's connect all of those four, okay? For uh, four movement, uh, sorry, four eights. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, jump. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it with music. Psalm one forty nine verse three says, "Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp." Praise goes with dancing, rejoicing, and joy. Can't have one without the other. And remember, if you can walk, you can dance. Now come and dance along. Hi COP, I'm Brother Miko. Acts 17 verse 28 says, For in Him we live and move and have our being. Are you thankful that you are in Him? Are you glad that He has redeemed you? For sure! So come and express your gratitude to God by giving Him praise through dance. In Him we live in Him we move. Let's go!
So far, we've said that in order to achieve best results, we need to exercise regularly, have a healthy diet, and have enough time for rest. Think of fitness like an equation. There may be a few variables, but there are quite a number of constants, which when factored in, produce desired results. Drinking water, for example, is good constant. Awesome! Stay in shade, COP. I'm Sister Casey. God bless. Fit for service. That's it for today and that's it for this week. Thank you for joining us, COP. Remember to stay fit for service by God's grace. I'm Brother Enchit and I'll see you next week. God bless!